Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the red zone and lost 50.35 points or 0.95%, settling at 5,229 points. Market turnover was 3.07 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 30.42% compared to the previous trading day. Walton High Tech from the industrial sector, Beximco Pharmaceuticals, Marico and Square Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector, and British American Tobacco, Unilever Consumer Care and Olympic Industries from the foods and allied sector mainly dragged down the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, the mutual fund sector posted the highest gain of 0.87%, while the telecommunications sector registered the second highest gain of 0.32%. On the other hand, the NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 2.33% today. Five insurance companies were among the top 20 losers today. Global Heavy Chemicals, Capitec Grameen Bank Growth Fund, and Kulna Printing and Packaging registered the highest gain while Social Islami Bank, CVO Petrochemical Refinery, and Advent Pharma were the top losers today. Social Islami Bank lost value today as they resumed their trading today after a record date. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Bangladesh Industrial Finance Company Limited, Bangladesh Steel Rerolling Mills and Global Heavy Chemicals increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. Top two news today. The government plans to reduce the source tax to 1% on the 28 essential commodities and food grains, aiming to ease the strain on consumers amid ongoing high inflation. This decision by the National Board of Revenue follows Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's directive to ease financial burdens in the upcoming budget. Additionally, the NBR may not grant tax exemptions on a case-by-case -case basis for physical infrastructure and megaprojects. The country's ready-made garment exports to the U.S. decreased by 1.90% to $6.82 billion United States dollars in the first 10 months of FY24, compared to the same period in FY23 while exports to Germany declined by 9.40% to 5.01 billion United States dollars. These reductions are attributed to ongoing crises, including inflationary pressures in Western economies. However, there is optimism for improvement in export conditions as inflation in these countries seems to ease. That's all for today. Thank you.